Mate, we are joined by another powerful, black, beautiful woman. Oh, it's taking the industry by storm. It's hard to believe, Uguti, the dream started at a very early age. Perhaps then, coincidentally, beautiful young lady from attendees. I would like to thank Upel for coming to the show. Yes. Beautiful name. Pearls are very, very expensive. Not only that, by nature, Yama pearls, they have to dig deep, Mabawa Foon, yes. and open that lamb that hides such a beautiful and precious jewel. Yes. So, your mom or whoever named you, named you <laughs> aptly, though. Actually, I was named by my mom, ne? and yeah. she named me that because she had a friend whose name was Pearl, and this Pearl was beautiful, this Pearl was smart, and she was hoping, Wuti, by giving me this name, then I'm going to be, like, that friend. Yeah, I'm sure you did um, not disappoint. Well, I hope I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> not easy on oh, the I eye. Haven't. Easy on the eye. Yes. <laughs> Thank so, you. <laughs> you. You're from, uh, you guys like with Tembisa, right? Tembisa, yeah. But your family is from Daffelkop. My father, yeah. Ubuye Daffelkop, and Daffel then my Cop. mother's side, Babuye Giyani, so Ngumbedi, Futu Ngumshangan. Wow. So, Rabulela, and then, yeah, Bula Bula as well. Wow. So I got the best of both worlds. Because they couldn't understand each other. So my dad bang on it in Shangani. So and my let's mom, compromise here, yes, people. Let's find a common language yes. and raise these kids. Yes. And then that's why Nkul Mizul Maja are not wow. Ispeji or Shangani so fluently. You you have followed the lights, the entertainment through being a um, an audience member in, in yes. different shows. Ohamba no feel yes. from the ten <laughs> you know, yeah, you must feel. I know, I know feel from way back. Yeah. Um, is it surprising to you that finally center stage is yours? It's not surprising because it's what I've always wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've always believed with Indomo Ifuna, we are taller. You know, and it started way early because it's really what I wanted to follow as a career path. Mm -hmm. And luckily there was Ufili, which my mother knew. Some of my phone Ufili at Ufili, I was like, hey, actually, I'm going to go to UTV. So I met Ufili when I was eight, nine years old. Jeez. And I became a studio audience for UTV for years. And then I grew up and then really? I was a studio. Yes! And then Ben Ginella was Miss Timbi, so Ben Contesta as yes. well. So. Yeah. <laughs> And then I was a studio audience guru, the Felicia Mabuza Subtle Show, Les Kati Isepon. Oh it, was, it was Felicia Mabuza then, it was yes. before Subtle. Yes. Ne? And uh, I was an extra on backstage, near extra good generations. So, so I paid my dues. I Yo, paid my dues. And I remember watching. Yes, man. yes. And Les Kati Nguru, Felicia Mabuza, I remember I was a studio audience and I was clapping. So obviously, most of you are clever, yes, smile, yes. and the camera pans across. Yes. And I remember watching myself, and my family was so excited to see me in the audience, you know. Yes. But in my mind, when I was there, I was looking at her, and I was like, you know, what, one day I want to do exactly what she's doing. Wow. And it, it, it's so nice to see how everything has unfolded, Manch. When was the day where they said, okay, you've got the gig, your first gig? My very first gig, and I'll show you, I want to never watched it because um well like my peers never did i never saw it on tv as well because business school when it was a show called english express yes i SBC remember 2. english express really yes. <laughs> <laughs> so being now 14 at the time yeah. but it didn't run for long we did it for like three months and that was it yeah but my very first big break was on crazy oh my yes, gosh yes i did ATV. crazy yes you did yes. crazy of course. Number one, number Kim. No, it was after Kim, no. Kim oh, was okay. After Kim, Kim. Kim. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got Abuzola, Abu Morena. Oh, my Abu word. So Lala was yes. there as well. Yeah, so that was my first big break. And I remember it was after high school. And I was like, I was always that girl saying, well, I'm going to be on TV next year. They're like, ah, oh, Pearl, next year, seriously, be realistic. I'm like, yay. I'm taking a gap year next year. During the oh gap year, gosh. I will find a way somehow to make it on TV. And I did. Have you, what was the thing? that you thought, wow, I didn't know that this industry is like this. Yes, I wanted to be part of it, mm. but you know, this is a wake up call for me. Hmm. I don't think anything has caught me by surprise. Yeah. Not, nothing at all. Mm -hmm. um, I think because going into it, my thing was I'm here to work. Yeah. I will work and I will still have my normal life outside of work. Yes. 
um, because what I do for a living is not my life. I don't like taking it home. I don't like carrying it with me wherever I go. Yeah. You know, yes, of course, people will see you and already think, oh, you're that girl from the show. Yeah. You know, but outside what I do, I still maintain a sense of me. Yeah. You know, so give me your and that's it. You it's know, funny so. that you should talk about that because um, in this present age, when, when we did it, Jameli, there weren't no Twitters, no Facebooks, yes. no Instagram. So you were able to be anonymous, yeah. you know. Now, um, we've got people that follow you, that are friends mm. with you on Facebook. Mm. And some people can be quite difficult, intrusive and downright rude. Yeah. Uh, have you experienced any of it? How do you guide yourself against engaging on such platform in, in a negative way? Um, can I tell you, and people find that this so hard to believe, but I've never encountered any negativity on any social platform mm -hmm. ever. And I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about me that uh, stops them from going in, Ganjalo. Yeah. You know, um, but, but no. That's never happened. Wow. I, I don't you know why. Like <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what it is, but I'm not complaining at all. Of course not, Pearl. You're coming <laughs> into this world of television where it's been uh, before you. Mm. There were other big nabo kanyi You know, you're coming into the field where you have abo bonang, abo nonkle, all these beautiful young women. Yes. Are you pleased at the state of the female co host? You know, the female celebrity. Are you pleased that your peers are there? Black women are there in this industry? Yes, I am very pleased, mm. especially now because it has become. I think. It, it is a business yeah. and a lot of us have noticed that and we are treating it as such yeah. um, and I can only speak for myself right now yeah. because I'm not really sure what a everyone's interests are and what their part of course. is leading to you know but with me being in this because I'm so passionate about it mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for ownership you know and that's why I'm also behind the scenes producing the show that I host yeah. because I want complete control over mm. the message that I put out there yeah. you know and I also just started my company you know Akums is the production company because we want to own our ideas yeah, what's it called we peak concepts peak oh, concepts yes okay. because both of us work for production companies and yes. we came together and we we're like you know what actually what we're doing there we can do um, for ourselves of as course. well so why not come together form something and see what it yeah, will be Wow. You know, because it is it is a business do, at the end of the day, it of really course. is. Do you and have they, any role models in that field of ownership um, that you look up to some women out there? I mean, when you look up, I'm going to hand it to you. Yes. Uh, you've got to Yes. You know, from yes. Miss Soe to Miss S.A. to holding one of the best television shows on TV. Exactly. And you get ladies like, and you mentioned her, who can you Yes. Um, ownership as yes. well. And you, and you see television personalities who are owning uh, their production. I mean, if you look at all uh, but Pepsi, yes. he owns his own as well. Yes. If you look at yes. people like about Dumi Masemula and her husband, Uman, Uman, like, yes, well. yeah. you know, um, I think it's about time that black people actually own up and, and say, you know what, we, we have brains, we are creatives, we can put together brilliant concepts um, for the masses of South Africa. You know, so that's, that's yeah. the, the direction Besides that I Besides your mom take. having named you Pearl after mm. her friend, yes. what, what spiritual connection do yes. you think you share with your mom that you epitomize and personify right now? Right now, she passed away in 2007. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but I think the one thing, and I think that's why I keep working hard because I feel like I feel like I'm trying to finish off what she started and wasn't able to finish. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like she was a businesswoman. Um, she had a small business, but you could see what it was growing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she was a woman who who stood on her own two feet and provided for her family. Yes, my father was there, but she was the glue that put everything together yeah yeah when and i think she got that from my grandmother um who passed it on to her and she passed it on to me and i'm mm -hmm. hoping that one day i'm going to pass mm -hmm. it on to my daughter yeah you know just and a, the a woman gives who you could... four sons I, no i <laughs> you know what i mean i'm no. passing it to my daughter okay, and then oh, the lord is son. like oh. okay let's give her four sons <laughs> <laughs> but i see yeah where you're going with yeah it. but my mom was just calm yeah she was calm and she oh, was just man. focused. She was on her own part. Do you miss her? You know, I do miss her a lot. Yeah. I really do. But I also understand what God has a plan for everyone. Yeah. There's a reason why she passed away. Mm. Um, and I think her death um, pushed me to grow up very quickly. You know, I think yes, But yes. I had to grow up and be a woman for my family. We have one, you know, and, I, and that's a resp it's a huge responsibility. It is, man. Losing but, a parent. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you, so you grow. To lose my mom, man. But you know what? If, oh, and I hope it doesn't happen. Yeah. You, you feel like you can't handle it before it happens. But when it does happen, yeah. Life can't help but change. You can't help but be a different person. Mm. You can't help but want more. You can't help but gain more strength, mm. you know, from that experience. Um, but yeah, you can get the for a reason. And yeah. yeah, a lot of beautiful black women like yourselves, you, you are now, you are out there. Mm. And that's why I'm a vulture. Um, and the young, beautiful women <laughs> in Magasi, it's where we come from. Mm. Uh, when or how do you, uh, what is it that you have around you mm. to, to shun, dispel the exploitation, especially in the business that we are in. There's a lot of exploitation of women, women who have dreams of making it big on television, of reading the most beautiful script, mm. but they have to compromise themselves. Which is really sad. It is. Which is really sad yeah. because I know for a fact that your talent can take you far. Um, mm. And you don't have to say yes to exploitation. Mm. You, you can't say yes. So, so, so if you agree to be exploited once, that's going to be your life. Ish. I think as a woman, you need to believe in yourself enough to say that if I'm not going to get it in this way, it's okay if I don't get it at all. You know what I mean? And uh, I hear of these things. Yeah. I hear of these things. And again, it's not happened to me. I've mm. never had a man coming up to me, Ati, listen, in order for you to get this, yeah. Willow wins in one, two, and three. Talking about a man, mm. uh, it doesn't matter to me who it is. I, okay. It doesn't, I don't care about it. Okay. But what I'm getting to is I loved the way you dealt with your previous relationship. Mm. How you said, it was, and that's it. Let's yeah. move on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, a lot of times we, we feel we have to give more than it's necessary. <laughs> because you don't want to offend the person that's writing. Because or something. But how you dealt with it was concise and precise. And yeah. you moved on with yeah. it. It was very clean. So well done. Thank that. you. Thank I hope you. you keep up on it. You know? Thank you. I hope so too. No, really... Because no. you see now how we, you might take it for granted when Kuluma or Wenza in the tele, there's someone that's paying attention to it. Yeah. Because perhaps, what, oh, that girl is the next big thing. And then you do some crazy thing and then we're like, Shh. Shh. I'm done. Oh. Because, you, oh man, it's happened so many times. But even with the relationship, I feel like, you know, people do, you, you're right, people do give more than what is necessary. Mm. It happened, it's done, you don't have to know the details. Yes. Because that's between him because and Because if you keep it, then we start like, probing and probing yeah, and probing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you happy? Am I happy mm -hmm. right now? Yeah this moment At, you know what honestly speak i think all of us always want to come across as happy i've got everything under control um i think i could be happier okay i really i think probably because of what's happening in my life right now um the things that people don't know and things that you know obviously keep myself oh, because you want to happen in your life no 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 no, no. like it's just <laughs> we listening no 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 <laughs> <laughs> nothing oh, yeah, it's just a, just a, a shaky period in, mm. in the personal life mm. you know but mm. work wise everything yeah. is perfect so personally you know? how then do you um, breathe life into that situation would you pull oh. me unscathed or positive from it what keeps you strong? i pray over it all the yeah. time Yo, ngulungulu is so important in my life. Yeah. And I was introduced to God by my late grandmother. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then you don't go to church. Yeah. Every Sunday you go to church. Yeah. You know, and then when I found myself in the Lord, yeah. um, that's when I knew to go to him for everything. Yeah. You know, so no my energy that I go through in life, I always go to God. I, I pray over any situation. Um yeah, check like if I'm about to make a big decision, God yeah. is the first uh, I can't say person. God is Oh, well, well, first person is well, your again, dad, isn't it? <laughs> God is the first being yeah. that I go to, you know. So, so for everything, if I'm about to make a big decision, if I'm unsure about something, if in the young shupa, or if, if young shupa, then I, I pray for strength to get yeah. through it. Yeah. Um, and for the lesson to actually show itself. Because for every hardship, you walk away with the lesson. You know, so I always pray, but you know what? I don't mind this hardship, it's fine. But give me the lesson. What am I walking away with? I need to walk away with something. Because don't eyes, put me the there lesson. and there's no lesson. Exactly. Like it's, it's a way. with me now. It's a way. It's a way. <laughs> Emotions. Hey, hey. yeah. oh, you're doing such a wonderful job on your Thank show. You. Congratulations to you for having followed your dream and made yeah, it boy. thus far. We wish your company all the best as well. Thank you. 
may you impact this industry positively yes and may you find many many clients and oh. thank you for representing Itembisa in such Yay. a positive way. Thank you. That's for all the time mean. we have for today. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you so much, my darling. All right. <laughs> oh, man. All that I have is a dream. It is alive and real as I choose to make it. Here's a young lady representing Itembisa, blowing this industry away. Articulate, sensitive, vulnerable, but resolute. That is the combination you find in this most precious jewel, which is pearl. Stay with us. Zitando, what am I without you? We'd like to thank you so much to TV as well for giving us the platform of this show. We are really, really appreciative. But we'd like to thank you, our most esteemed viewer, for your support. Being a late mate, I tell you every single time, and I mean this, our crew loves you. I get God willing, I'll next week right here on So to Television. My name is Nimrod Nkosi. Thank you for watching.